Hey everyone, I'm Jill Seidler and I'm here with my favorite doctor and we wanted to tell you guys a little bit about Botox in the neck area and why it's great to add to your next Botox treatment. So I just wanted to share my personal experience with it. Um, for me, I guess over the last couple of years, you know, I started lifting some weight and exercising more um, and I started to notice some laxity happening in my jawline and on my neck. And it kind of, when it really hit home for me, was a picture I saw of myself at my sister's wedding. I was just in a very happy, excited expression. And I was really firing all these neck muscles. Um, and so I showed it to him and he said, yeah, it's time for us to do some Botox in your neck. Um, and so really Botox is best as a preventative. You know, many people think that it's something you do when you get much older, but specifically in the neck, you know, if we wait too long till it has caused the, you know, skin to become lax, then really you only have surgery as an option to fix it. Whereas if you're using Botox to really keep those muscles from getting too strong, um, it keeps from pulling that skin forward. So it's a great treatment and prevention. Yeah, well, we've, we've tried to figure out, the neck is one of the hardest areas to treat surgically and non-surgically. So over the years, we've kind of figured out that for a lot of patients that will strengthen that muscle with different facial expressions, daily exercises and, and, and weightlifting and stuff like that, little bit by little bit, that muscle gets stronger. And if you're constantly pulling the skin forward, eventually the skin just starts to loosen up a little bit. It gets a little lax and it's just tired of trying to go back to where it, where it uh, used to be. So I've noticed over the years that I've done a, a number of patients with Botox in the neck, it's a more rare area of doing it. What you can see is you can see a reduction in the strength of that muscle. It doesn't cause any functional problem um, if it's done correctly. Uh, and you will see that the skin will just stay tight because it's not being stretched out. It's kind of like if you pinch the skin on your hand and it snaps right back. Imagine if you did that for hours a day, even if you're young, eventually that skin is going to get thinned and, and just kind of lax. So that's the reason to do Botox in the neck. It doesn't take a lot of Botox, um, especially if you start doing it early. It's something that we can add to the other areas. So anytime that we talk with a patient and we do a full face and neck assessment, we always want to notice if the jaw and the neckline need a little bit of preventative Botox. So. I've done a few treatments now. Um, and so I know in the video you'll see, you know, it kind of looks like it would hurt to get injected in the neck muscle. But actually, I mean, Botox needles are so small. Um, and actually, you feel it much less than you do in the forehead and other areas. So it's a really easy, painless treatment, you know, to add to your next Botox appointment. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an area that patients never really complain about. Usually you don't bruise from it. And uh, like she said, the skin's kind of nice and soft there, so it's really easy to inject. All right, so I've already cleaned and prepped her skin. Normally I would have an assistant standing right next to me so they could help me uh, with our little AccuVein. Again, y'all have seen this on videos before, whether in social media or in training videos. This is a great device. It's the best one on the market, I think, um, that will show me the little blood vessels in the skin so I don't bruise them. So I'm actually going to have my lovely wife, Jill, help me assist me here. So fire your neck muscle for me. All right, we take a look. We don't see any blood vessels, so you can take that away. And then all I do here is I just do fire again for me. I just pinch under it, and that way I can do one little injection right here, and you can see this just barely goes in the skin. This really doesn't hurt. And have her keep firing it, and you can feel that band. Um, and like I said, this works about an inch diameter. Fire again for me. This lower part has been softened so much because we've done a couple of rounds, so we don't really have to do much there. I'm going to hold pressure for just a second. Perfect. And then fire again right there. You can see how she kind of just barely moves that one, so I'm just going to pull that one off of her jawline and we do one little stick right there and that's it so if you're a patient and interested in uh, getting this done you can see that it's easier I'll take this over very easy to get done usually doesn't bruise at all it doesn't hurt at all either um, and it really doesn't hurt so that is Botox in the neck